Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and we have something very interesting to take a look at today. We have a brand new Onyx release. This is a company that produces a lot of different dinosaur figures from China, and you see them showing up often on eBay as well as AliExpress, and they do produce a lot of bootleg figures, but from time to time they release, as far as I know anyway, originals like we have for this one. And as you can see, this is a very Jurassic World Dominion style Giganotosaurus, and since I am a massive fan of that Giganotosaurus, even though a lot of people don't really like it, for some reason I am just super drawn to that figure, oh, well, that dinosaur, I don't know what it is, but I really quite like it. I instantly had to purchase this one when I had found it on AliExpress. I just had to have this one in my collection. And even though it's definitely not your best interpretation of the Dominion Giganotosaurus, it is still pretty cool and uh, definitely cool to see them creating one so quickly as this, you know, came out really fast. And I don't know who exactly is behind the sculpt of this, but they didn't capture the Giganotosaurus perfectly, but got some of the elements of it, like the majority of it definitely looks Dominion-like. However, the paint job kind of has like a mixture of Dominion, but a mixture of their own personal touch, I guess, as we have reds and oranges running down the back of the Giganotosaurus. Still definitely looks pretty fun, and uh, something that I was pretty happy to get my hands on, so let's jump straight to a closer look at this right now. So starting up here at the head sculpt of our Giganotosaurus, you can see it looks pretty cool. You can see that we actually have some nice texturing to the skin and also some really nice paintwork for the most part as far as like the actual body color goes. You can see that we have kind of like that light grayish tone for the uh, lower part of the body. And you can see we have like this dark bluish tone leading down from the upper side and kind of, you know, striping down and stuff. It looks really nice. They've also dry brushed a lot of the detail out. It looks like with that dark blue. So the coloration kind of blends and meshes together, which is pretty neat. You can also see we've got the nostrils sculpted out here on the tip of the snout. The eye has kind of like a red around it and then a yellow and a black pupil and it does have a gloss coat, but the eye paint is a little bit sloppy. You can definitely see that. I would have liked it without that red around the eye. I feel like that makes it look a little bit strange, but not terrible, I guess. And one thing that's kind of neat about this one, you can see there's actually some blood leaking out of the mouth, and that's definitely not like a paint error. That's something they did on purpose. I saw that in the promotional images of this on AliExpress, so I know that was supposed to be there. So it's obviously showing the fierce side of our Giganotosaurus. We do have an articulated jaw. You can see the teeth are sculpted okay, kind of almost V-Rex-like, which the Giganotosaurus does sort of have that appearance to it, so I guess they did their best job of kind of replicating that. You can see one tooth is actually really quite far out there, and one thing I like, you can see another tooth kind of starting to sprout up right there, which is pretty interesting, but you can see the inside of the mouth looks okay detail wise but at the same time it's a little generic you can also see that right here on like that skin flap at the side of the mouth it's like the most generic detail that you could possibly have you've got a tongue sculpted in there which has some decent texturing you can also see some blood laying on the tongue as well again furthering this blood leaking out of the mouth type look the teeth are painted with a grayish tone but they're not perfectly painted they're a little sloppy however i kind of expect that with most of the you know, Onyx figures as they're never masterpieces. You can see the mouth closes pretty nicely, though the jaw does seem a little loose, like you can see it kind of drops, but it can close and it can stay closed. The eye on this side definitely looks a little better paint-wise than the initial side did, which is a plus. You can also see some of those bluish tones down here on the lower jaw as well. You do have a red running along this area, this almost crest-like area of our Giganotosaurus which looks pretty cool, and then you can also see an orange running down along the ridges that run here through the course of the top of the head and running down the back of our Giga. As you lead down into the neck region, you can kind of make out some creasing and stuff in the skin, but it's not super obvious or anything. However, you can see those armored-like scoots picking up, again, very Jurassic World Dominion-like, as you lead down the course of the neck as they follow along the ridge line of our Giganotosaurus. As you continue to move down, you can kind of see the skin stretching off of the body a little bit right there, leading down into the arm, which looks pretty cool. You've got some muscle definition in the arm. You can see the arm darkens as you lead out into the hands of our Giganotosaurus, and you have some painted nails on it. Not perfectly painted, but they're not terrible either. They're kind of painted with like a dark brown. The wrists are unfortunately pronated, but 
Uh, I guess that's not something that's uncommon when it comes to this style figure. You can see again that they've done a pretty good job of highlighting a lot of the skin texture and everything with that dry brushing, although some areas it's almost a little bit obnoxious. They've dry brushed it a little bit too much, but it does help to mesh the other areas of that darker blue as it runs down a little bit nicer. And you can also see that we kind of have highlighted the scoots with like a light tannish color running down along the back. And you can see that, of course, the ridges here increase quite drastically, almost to a sail-like look here. Kind of similar to what you see on the Jurassic World Dominion Giganotosaurus here along the back. And they're painted with that dark blue, but they also have been dry brushed with that orangish tone. Not perfectly, but they have done it there. So it continues to kind of highlight the ridges running along the back of the Giga. And you can also see some skin wrinkles right there in the front of the thigh, especially since this leg is taking a step forward. You've got some okay looking muscle definition there. You don't really see the hip bone up here though, which is something interesting to take note of. Some skin wrinkles and stuff as you lead down the leg. You've got the kneecap as well as a big bulging calf muscle and an okay looking foot sculpt, almost a little generic as far as the sculpting of the foot sculpt goes, but you've also got some nails that have some okay detail and are again painted with a dark brown. And we do have dew claws, which are actually painted, which is a plus. And then leading back up here into the tail, you can see some more skin wrinkles and stuff. As you lead out the length of the tail, you can see that striping as you move down the course of the tail. And we move back to those smaller ridges leading out into the tail. But we continue that scoot-like armored look until we get to about here. And it kind of tapers away. And we have a really sharp curve there at the end of the tail. The tail is definitely way too short. That's probably the worst aspect of the figure, I think, is how short the tail looks. It really looks very off-putting for the figure, which is unfortunate because that's not something that you usually find with these type of figures. I feel like the tail length is usually okay on them, but this one definitely has a very short tail. You can almost see an armored, almost like a scoot-like appearance here running along the underside of the Giganotosaurus as well. I would have liked to have seen some alternate color here on the underside and not this ugly dry brushing because the dry brushing here on the underside doesn't really highlight the detail nicely. It kind of obscures it and almost makes it look a little bit sloppy. So I'm not a huge fan of the way it looks there on the underside. But you can see again when we look at the opposing side, it looks pretty good. The neck is turned away from us here. As you can see, the Giga obviously has its attention turned to something on its left. So you can see the neck a little bit better over here. You can see some skin ring and creases and stuff over here a little bit better and you can also see the stomach region and the skin detail over here how the skin's kind of reacting and stretching over here a little bit better since this leg is trailing slightly compared to the opposing side but you can also again see that nothing about this model is exactly what I would call spectacular it has some okay looking detail and some okay looking paint application in certain spots but as a whole it's still a pretty sloppy looking figure and Definitely has a good bit of an ugly side to it, especially with how short and ugly looking the tail is. The paint application is pretty much what you would expect for an Onyx release. But it does still at the same time have kind of a striking resemblance to that Jurassic World Dominion Giganotosaurus. And if you're a fool like me and you really love that dinosaur, then you're probably going to like this figure like I do. So even though it's definitely not your most screen accurate or even remotely all that good of a version, it's still pretty fun. Another thing that this figure suffers from is really bad balance. You can see that it can stand if you position it correctly, but it's also kind of on its tippy toes leaning forward. The feet are definitely warped. You can see that when you look at it from straight on, for sure, the feet are definitely warped. I could probably fix that with a little warm water, cold water, but I can still get it to stand, so we actually will get a good measurement on it. As far as a length goes from the head there to the tail, you're looking at about eight and three quarter inches or around 22 centimeters. It's not massive, but it's definitely not small either. And then height wise there to the back of those ridges in the neck region, you're looking at just a little over five inches, maybe approaching five and a quarter or a little bit over 13 centimeters. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack, Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line next to our Giganotosaurus here. And you can definitely see that again, it sports a decent size. It's approaching the size of Mr. Papo Rex, not far off at all. Almost a similar positioning as well, since Mr. Papa Rex has his head turned to the left, or Giga has his head turned to the left. Mr. Papa Rex has one foot forward on the left side. Same deal with our Giga. And then a curve in the tail, even though the positioning is a little bit different as far as the stance goes, they're fairly similar. But again, also kind of a similar size.
And then for another comparison, when it comes to a few Dominion Gigas, we've got the Toy Monster International Captives Giganotosaurus, as well as the 5-inch Basic Mattel Giganotosaurus here next to our random Onyx figure. And then we've also got ourselves the Sound Surge version of the Giganotosaurus next to our Onyx version. And you can see the Sound Surge version is quite a bit larger than the Onyx version, but the Onyx version, again, isn't too bad when it comes to the size. And then for two final and totally random comparisons, we've got the Safari LTDU Tyrannus and the Collect Aid Dimetrodon. Just in case you didn't have any of the other figures, and maybe you'll be lucky to have one of these two to help give you an idea of the size. So this brand new Onyx Giganotosaurus, the Jurassic World Dominion style Giganotosaurus, is actually kind of fun, but at the same time, not that great. I would say the first half of the figure looks pretty cool like the head sculpt looks fun the neck looks okay and the first part of the body even though i wish the wrists weren't pronated looks all right but once you get to like the legs and back it looks a little off the paint application although looks nice in certain areas also looks sloppy in others and the coloration although very similar to the Giganotosaurus from Dominion at the same time isn't really that great because we have like random reds and oranges on it that we don't see on the Giganotosaurus in the film but it at least does give this version kind of a flashier look. The tail is extraordinarily short which is really ugly on the figure and absolutely is one of the most distracting aspects of this release. The paintwork is a little sloppy as well like you see in the eye and the teeth and everything. The tongue and all of that but other areas look okay like the paintwork of the toenails and everything i'm not a huge fan of the really big dry brushing they've given this figure it highlights the detail nicely in some areas but makes it kind of ugly in other areas like the underside it does have an articulated jaw which is kind of fun even if it is a little bit loose and the teeth do kind of close very nicely together but like kind of interlocking teeth in certain areas and they actually do work pretty nicely as far as that goes even if the jaw is a little bit loose the legs are are warped on it at least as far as mine goes so it doesn't stand perfectly but it can stand regardless and a little hot water cold water trick might fix that i do like the addition of the blood on the inside of the mouth and leaking down the side of the lower jaw that's a pretty cool little touch that they've given this so as a whole it's kind of 50 50 it's a fun looking version of a jurassic world dominion style giganotosaurus but at the same time it's a little bit ugly so i guess it really depends on your preference however if you are interested in this i will include a link in the description to where you can grab one from aliexpress so check the link in the description go grab Grab one if you'd like one and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.